Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 16 of our build deploy test with Jenkins 2.0 for Java and C Sharp. And in this video, we'll be talking about configuring email notification with Jenkins 2.0 and this is part B. So meaning you need to have a clear understanding on what we discussed on part A before watching this part again, which is part 15 where we discussed all these informations. So before watching this part, as I already said, please watch part 15 so that you can have a clear understanding of what we're going to discuss in this particular video. All right, so let's flip to our Windows 10 virtual machine and start where we left over. So, so far in our previous video, we saw how to configure the mail client and the SMTP server in our Jenkins. And now we are going to get an email notification from the Jenkins to the SMTP server. So in order to do that, we are going to open one of the job that we have. Again, I'm going to open this particular Selenium with Cucumber pipeline project. And then I'm going to go to the configure option. And here's where we can actually configure our email notification. So in order to set the email notification, since it's a pipeline, if you come down here, you'll never find an UI option where you can configure the email SMTP server or the from or to email ID where you have to send the email, but you can do via the pipeline syntax once again. So let's open the pipeline syntax. And then in the sample step, if you can see here, we have an option called email text extended email. Remember, this is the same name that we saw in our SMTP server as well, the SMTP extended email, right? During the configuration. So I'm gonna choose that. And within the two box here, you can give any of the email ID that you want for your organization. So for instance, I'm going to give Karthik at executeautomation.com and the recipient provider, I'm not going to set any provider here. So I'm just going to leave it. And the subject, we're going to say like build executed, build execution completed. In the body of the message, we can say build execution completed with we can just say something like check out test and reporting so this is like a dummy message that i'm just giving but you can also configure with the dynamic data something like the build version and when it has executed and which branch it has executed all those information you can get it from the list of define variable which can be used within the Jenkins so you can do that as well but as of now I'm just going to set this very very default right and then I'm going to leave this advanced for now and then if I hit this generate pipeline script you can see that we will get a message here with the email text there is a body and there is a checkout and there is an information on the subject and the two right so I'm just going to copy all of them and I'm just going to hop over to our Selenium with Cucumber project. And within this stage, I'm gonna create one more stage here. And let's call this as email. And let's paste this whole code that we copied from the syntax over there, right? So let me just do some formatting maybe. All right. And then I'm just gonna save it. Very, very simple, straightforward. You can see that we just took the snippet from here from the syntax generator and then we just paste it over here. That's it. And now if I try to build this particular job, you can see that it is going to start executing by checking out the code, then building and testing the code and then generating the report. So it is going to do all these operation for us this time as well. And you can see that the build and test is going to take at least one minute, 59 seconds, just close to two minutes. So once every execution is done, I'll be back. All right, seems like the generation of the report is done and the email is also being sent. And now hopefully we should get an email to our mail dev client. So let's quickly hop over to the mail dev and see if we have an email over here. Oops, over here. Yep, we have an email here. As you can see here, the email shown is here is one and it says build execution is completed and if i click this it says build executed com build execution completed with the checkout test and reporting right so this is the same message that we gave in the build step 
right? So now we can see that message as well. So you can get an email notification instantly once the build is fully done. It will send you an email to your email client. So you can see that it is very, very easy to use the Docker container to configure an SMTP server. And every time it's also going to be sending you an email to your mail client and you can perform that operation using mail dev, right? It is pretty easy and straightforward. And you can see that the whole process, you know, is kind of getting elaborated with the checkout, build test, generate report and email and all those stuff kind of very staged and we have so much of information over here, right? So that's it guys. This is how you can perform an email notification using Docker container within your Jenkins to perform an operation. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.